What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod Mod 9, the final stable version available. Uh, the Cyanogen Mod team has openly stated that Cyanogen Mod 9, final, the stable release, is that's it. They're done with Cyanogen Mod 9. The reason being is because they're going to focus on Cyanogen Mod 7 for older devices, I presume. And they're going to continue development for Cyanogen Mod 10, which is going to be Jelly Bean. Now people are going to be wondering, okay, will our Galaxy S2 be getting that? Cyanogen Mod 10? My answer to that is, I have no clue. Uh, I would really like to hope so, because I'm in the same boat as you guys, but again, I don't know. If you really want to know, go to the website and post in the forums and ask. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prove that I'm actually running it. Uh, my phone is connected to the computer, so just ignore that. So we're going to go to the system settings. About phone. Here, Samsung SGH i727. It's not saying i727R, even though I'm running the Rogers version. That's because the ROM just simply gets rid of the R for some reason. But don't worry about it if you're a Rogers user. Uh, Android 4.0.4. Cyanogen mod 9.0.0 Skyrocket. Now the reason it says Skyrocket is because um, this method works for the Rogers version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE and for the at t version of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. Sorry, I get my words mumbled there. And I will put a link for the exact, uh, sorry not a link, I'll put the uh, exact model numbers in the description below. Your model number must match one of those two in order to watch this video and follow it. If it does not, turn off this video right now because it could really screw up your phone. Okay, so to prove that this works on both the Rogers and AT&T version, I'm on the official Cyanogen Mod website. Click Devices. Go through this really quick. Galaxy S2. Hit Wiki. Then my internet freezes. Come on. Okay, FAQ. Okay, you're going to go down to the Rogers version. Whoa, here's the Rogers version. i727R, yes, there's support. In order to install it, please refer to the Skyrocket guide. So as I said, the Skyrocket and the Rogers version use the exact same Cyanogen Mod 9 uh, because they run off the same cell phone frequencies like to get a cell phone uh, signal. So, before we can continue any further, there are a few things I need to notify you about. Uh, by attempting to flash this ROM, you could permanently damage your device. So if something goes wrong, it's your own fault because you're following this video at your own risk. Furthermore, you must have uh, your device rooted and have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. Now, pay attention here because things might get a little confusing. If you're running the Rogers version of the Samsung Galaxy S2 LTE and you have Android Gingerbread, which is like Android 2.3 point something, and you need to root, Follow the video link here. If you are running Gingerbread and you're on the Samsung Galaxy S2 for the AT&T or Rogers network, you need to load Clockwork Mod Recovery. Follow the video link here. If you have the Rogers version or the AT&T version of the Galaxy S2 and you're running the official Ice Cream Sandwich update from Rogers or AT&T and you want to root and install Clockwork Mod Recovery, Follow the video link here. I know it's confusing, but you have to rewind it and read what the annotation link says and you'll be fine. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to this uh, webs website. I'll give you the video, uh, sorry, I'll give you the link in the description below, rather. Um, you're gonna download where it says stable. You can ignore everything else, do not touch anything else, just go where it says stable. And if you're using Google Chrome, what I noticed that if you try downloading this, um, and you know you get the download dialog here at the bottom. I noticed that it says something like uh, warning this file has not been downloaded many times it it might be unsafe. I'm not sure why Google Chrome does that I just I just ignored it and can just finish the download anyway and everything's fine. Then you need to download the Google Apps which is like Gmail and Google Play because without it you can't redo really anything with your device. So you're gonna go to this web page which I'll also give you the link in the description below and go down to the bottom of this page, as you can see. Go to Cyanogen Mod 9, and then hit Download or Mirror. So you must download this zip file, and the one where I told you it gets stable, okay? Now, to put on your computer, a lot of people I notice have had trouble. All you do is simply plug in your phone to your computer, as you can see, just normally, nothing fancy. When uh, you have it plugged in, go to My Computer. I have two drives because one is external, one's internal. So personally, I recommend you put on an internal because most people only have an internal memory. Just simply copy and paste it as I have here, and that's it. And at this point, we're going to turn off the phone and boot it into recovery, so let's do that right now. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to boot into recovery. Man, I'm mumbling my words a lot today. I just finished my last exam today, so that's why my brain is kind of like jello. So please mind me, um, or don't mind me. Damn, I did it again if I'm really mumbling. Anyway, okay, so to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery, your phone must be off. I assume this is the exact same procedure for AT&T users because I am a Rogers user. If not, then just search it up on the net. So what you need to do, assuming you have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, you press and hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time while the phone is off and not connected to the computer. Okay, so let me demonstrate for you. First, I'm pressing and holding both volume buttons and the power button. When the phone vibrates, you let go of the power button. So just like this. Okay, I'm pressing everything now. I vibrate, let go. Still holding the volume buttons. And uh, while it's booting up, okay, here's Clockwork Mod Recovery. While it's booting up, um, there's something very, very important I almost forgot to mention. The gallery for playing videos and the camera when recording videos, there's a, uh, there's pretty much a, a problem with it. I really recommend before you continue any further, you watch my demo video of the Cyanogen Mod 9. Um, the link for that video will be in an annotation link at the ending of this video. So fast forward, watch that video. There's a there's a problem with the uh, video playback and recording videos. Um, it is easily fixed. I did find two very quick, easy solutions for it. I suggest you check it out and um, watch it first before you continue any further because you, I don't want you guys being like, oh man, I regret that. You know what the heck you didn't tell us? Well, I'm telling you now. Okay. So like I said, they're easy problems to fix but it, just in case watch that video first now if you want to back up your current ROM and information just in case you don't like Sanogen Mod 9 and you want to revert back this is touch recovery if you're running uh, a button recovery which I really doubt everything is usually touch nowadays for recovery volume buttons go up and down power buttons to select but I'm running touch recovery so I'll show you with touch to back up everything just hit backup and restore and then obviously back up. If you're restoring, if you want to go back to your old ROM, hit restore, okay? But I'm not going to do that, so there's no need to show you. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention, and the reason I'm telling you to restore back, is because at this point, you're going to delete everything on your phone, except for your internal memory, which is like your gallery, uh, your music. Those will be fine, but your, like, your apps and stuff will be deleted, okay? So this is a point of no return. So what you're going to do is hit wipe data factory reset, scroll down hit yes you can do this part twice um, just to be sure that everything is wiped properly wipe data factory reset again you don't have to do this twice I just, just personal recommendation it just takes a few seconds longer once that's done what you're gonna hit is wipe cache partition again scroll down to yes do it twice wipe cache partition again hit yes now here you're gonna select install zip from SD card if you put the zip files on your external SD card, if you have one, choose zip from SD card, which is a top one. If you put it on your internal, like myself, where it says choose zip from internal SD card, select that. You can do scroll all the way down. You're going to see a whole bunch of directories, which is like your camera, your pictures, ringtones. Ignore all that. You're going to look for the zip files. Now, at this point, you're going to see G apps ice cream sandwich. Ignore that for now. What you want to do is Cyanogen Mod 9.0.0 Skyrocket tap on that hit yes when it's done flashing the um, ROM we'll continue from there okay so I finished installing the ROM uh, it said opening update package installing update install from SD card complete it took about two to three minutes to complete so if you have to wait don't worry it's normal now you're gonna go back to the same menu where you get to choose how to install a zip this time you're gonna choose zip from internal SD card again if if it's on your internal go all the way down again this time, where I told you to ignore G apps, you're gonna select it this time, okay? You can scroll down, hit yes, and let it install. This one will be a lot quicker. Now, while it's installing, uh, like I said, I don't know what's gonna happen with Sanjay Mod 10, which is based off ice, um, Jelly Bean rather for our device. If we're gonna get it or not, and how long. The biggest feature about Jelly Bean that people want is Google Now with voice search. I have got it up and running fully and if you want to see a video demonstration on that wait for the video annotation link at this at the ending of this video watch that video you can see it. if you, if you like it you can flash it it's really easy it's a lot easier than this uh, Google now is working great so I have a video on that too if you're really interested it'll make the wait for jelly bean not so bad actually because that's the biggest feature people want from jelly bean so continue on you're gonna hit go back 
reboot system now and that's it you're done uh, so but if you're already rooted and you have clockwork mod recovery up and running it's the, like the one of the easiest ROMs you'll ever flash in your life like it's so simple once you're rooted and have clockwork mod recovery there's the boot animation it's really awesome um, but I'm not going to show it to you because well you can install it and flash it yourself and see it for yourself um, the first boot will take, I don't know, 3-4 minutes or something. It's perfectly normal because the first time it's booting up, it's kind of letting the uh, cache kind of settle in and get used to the new system. And then eventually you're going to see the login screen. You, actually, you might not see the login screen for your Gmail. Just open the Google Play app or the Gmail app and I'll tell you, okay, put in your Gmail uh, username or email, whatever, in, in case it doesn't show up on the, like, the startup screen. So if it doesn't show up the startup screen for your email input, just open Google Play or the Gmail app, and from there it, it'll be fine. So um, yeah, I hope that helps. I made a release candidate video not too long ago. The installation process was the exact same for the stable version. I just wanted to make sure that the absolute most newbies out there didn't get confused. It's the exact same thing, but uh, hopefully this helps someone out. If it did, please hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe. Thanks for watching and oh, don't forget to check my website in the description below and thanks for watching.